Welcome to the Ayala Art Channel, where you can find a lot of videos on acrylic painting for beginners, art journaling, art dolls, some art cards, projects, and other crafts, and a very messy table. In this video, we're going to be working on this huge, huge, huge project. It is an art collaboration with Jonathan Manning, the artistic biker. You will find a link in somewhere down in the information box below in an art card also. No, a card, <laughs> I card. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be using a lot of blues for this project, including ink, aquas, glittery paint, flat paint, all kinds of stuff, and gesso, and uh, medium to add some collage of all kinds of random papers that I found in my little stash. So I hope you enjoy this project. This is a paper, a Bristol paper. So let's start working on this. I'm going to start with a good amount of matte medium for all the collage that I want to put in here. After I added some of this random collage, I will start working on some color. So I want the corners darker. This is a Deep Sea by Martha Stewart. And I don't want any logic into the the edges maybe more medium in the corner so it's not it's not even and not so dark There's nothing like a very old brush to give you very interesting texture in every little place that you use it. So I go with my brush again and again if I don't like something. Like this edge of this fabric little clip. All right, it's very rich and thick, so it will not drip like other paintings that I have applied. All right, this part over here is not behaving. And usually I wait until I'm done with the collage so it's dry. And I can see it's not going to remain down there. So what we can do is cut it with violence. <laughs> and spray more, I mean spread more under the part that was not behaving. I do not care, I just want the texture. 
Okay, at this point I really do have to wait for it to dry. Um, it's very thick in some corners and the paper started to buckle in some areas. I don't mind the, bu the buckling, but I, I want to dry this so I can start with another layer that is not going to mix with what I already applied. So, I will come back in a minute after this is dried. It is next day. I left it overnight to make sure that everything was dried and flat. And instead of using the white yeso I was going to use, I decided to use my clear one, this. It is Liquitex Clear Gesso and I love it. When you want texture but not the white color, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But anyway, I'm going to use this one because I like the colors and I just want to add more texture. I will use a little bit more of silver acrylic and also ta -da, some uh, glitter just to, can you see it? Just to add some little sparkle. And just because I have it, no particular reason. <laughs> I cannot find my magic fork, so I will use a knife. The knife leaves these little scratchy parts. It will be totally transparent. And we'll have a frame. That's what I'm aiming for. A frame of texture. And if um, Jonathan decides he can totally ignore it or use it. It's totally up to him. So Jonathan, anything that you want to create on top of this is fine. You have to check by the way Jonathan's videos. He has a lot of fun stuff on sketches. 